Ocean waters encompass approximately 71% of the Earth. It acts as a life source for humans, animals, and deep sea creatures alike. Carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are causing global temperatures to rise, but only 10% of that excess heat influences us on land. In fact, 90% of excess heat is stored below the ocean surface. This has allowed marine heat waves to become 20 times more common. Zach Caniso is a climate coordinator and marine biologist for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. He says a marine heat wave is when the water temperature is above the 90th percentile of the average for about three to five days. But he says as our average continues to rise, so will the absolute temperature of the water. It causes stress. Just think about how you feel when it's warmer than normal, when it gets warmer. You get stressed out, you kind of feel uncomfortable. Now imagine not being able to escape that because our ocean animals sometimes can't. This warming can result in changes to coastal fisheries, migration, and circulation patterns. Overheating can also spark coral bleaching, which damages the coral used to support ocean life with habitat and food. If the coral reefs die, then it's, it's very bad ecologically. Howard Diamond is the Climate Science Program Manager with NOAA's Air Resources Laboratory. He says coral reefs act as a natural defense by protecting sensitive coastlines from storm surge inundation. Coral reefs provide somewhat of a barrier for, um, for high waves during things like hurricanes. Warming ocean waters can also result in more intense hurricanes. Storms use warm ocean water to strengthen, and warm air allows those storms to hold more moisture. So these storms become stronger, they have more rainfall, so you get effects like greater flooding, greater coastal flooding. Warm ocean waters also contribute to sea level rise through a process called thermal expansion. Essentially, as water warms, it also expands. All of these changes can lead to declining tourism and job loss, especially for coastal communities. The oceans have been saving us for a long time. They're a tremendous sink of carbon dioxide and heat. But if they get warmer and warmer, the CO2 that they're storing is going to return itself back to the atmosphere and it's going to exacerbate the heating. Both experts say slowing down our warming oceans and mitigating the impacts of climate change is up to all of us. Collectively, these little impacts that each individual person have can add up and they can make a difference. For WCNC Charlotte, a meteorologist, Brittany Van Voorhees.